Hey everybody, today I will demonstrate maxillary anterior tooth preparation. Here you see the five words that we will use on the preparation. The first one is tapered word. Its axial parts are 3 to 6 degree slope. That's why it is called tapered word. Second one is shoulder word. The words we use determine the shape of the bevel of the restoration we will make. Today I will use shoulder type burrs at two different thickness. The tip of the the tip of this burr is 90 degree angled. If you choose mistakenly a chamfer type burr, you will change the bevel type of your preparation. Bevel also means finishing line. Another burr is pear shaped burr or football shaped burr. We will use this burr by making lingual preparation to reduce remaining tooth tissue above the cingulum. Differently from this, we will use the flame and burr for the reduction of approximal areas. On the screen, you can see how to insert and remove your burrs from your angle drive hand pieces with dog mechanism. Some of your angle drive hand pieces may have push button. They will simply insert their burrs by holding down the push button on the back. You can see the use of automatrix on the screen. When the ball of automatrix is pushed, the matrix band leaves and holds the bands by pulling it. While the automatrix holds the matrix band by moving the ball on it on the right or left, the band tightens or loosens. The purpose of using automatrix is to prevent damaging the adjacent teeth during the reduction of the axial walls in the preparation. I prepared right central earlier, today I will prepare upper left central for you. My purpose in preparing right central before is for you to see and understand what I aim during preparation. Things that you should pay attention are not leaving undercut, the location and shape of the bevel, to make a preparation as smooth as possible. Avoid damaging gum tissue and neighboring teeth during preparation. Avoid leaving sharp corners. First of all, I place my matrix band on the adjacent teeth.
Then I insert my 2mm diameter shoulder and burr. We control the preparation depth with guiding grooves. If you want to prepare at 2mm depth, we insert a cylinder burr at 2mm thickness and prepare guiding grooves. Here I started the preparation from the buckle face. I prepared 3 to 4 guiding grooves on the buckle side. After opening the grooves, I paint the deepest points with a pencil. The purpose of doing this not to lose absolute depth. When joining the grooves, if I lose the pencil stain completely, it means that I have increased the depth involuntarily. After joining the grooves on the buckle face and forming a smooth surface, I will start to prepare the incisal face. I also make grooves on the incisal face and join these grooves. Then we insert the flame and burr to the angle drive handpiece and remove the seal wall. While removing this area, I move the burr slowly back from buckle to the palatine. Even if the matrix band is attached, if you are uncontrolled, you will damage the adjacent tooth. When I think I have reached the sufficient width for the shoulder burr, I remove the flame at burr. I continue my buckle step from axial to palatine. It is important that this step or bevel on a single roll. We don't want steps that don't have integrity.
In the lingual, I keep the step going and make preparation on the exhale balls. After my preparation on the gum level and axial walls is finished, I insert a pear-shaped drill. I make the reduction of the upper part of the singlum with a pear-shaped drill. We shouldn't lose the height of the singlum here in terms of the retention of the crown that we will do on it. If the height between top of the singlum at the step is less than 3 mm, the retention decreases significantly. I insert a tapered burr and make a taper angle of the 3 to 6 degrees on the axial balls. Finally, I make the final corrections with a red or yellow banded cylindrical shoulder bar. Hope you enjoy, see you in the next video.